Oh, hey. Jeez, you're drenched. Come in, come in. I thought you took a cab. Well, where's your umbrella? I'm sorry, the cab driver did what? What the fuck were they thinking? Leaving a blind person in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night during a fucking rainstorm? Do you remember the name of the cab company? I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Well, I don't think you went far enough, personally. But I guess it'll have to do. <sighs> Let me take your cane. I'm putting it against the wall next to you. You want to take my arm? We're just going to walk to the living room. So, why didn't you call me? I'd have come and picked you up. Okay, first things first. I am always an option for pickups, okay? Also, wait. If you got lost, how did you get to my place? One of my neighbors walked you here? <sighs> I'm going to have to bake some cookies to thank them. I'm so glad you found someone to help you and that you got here safe. Maybe we should connect our Find My Phone apps so we don't have this issue in the future? Good. We can do that later. For now, you're completely soaked. I'm going to get a dry towel and some warm clothes for you. Just leave a pile on the floor. I'll throw it into the dryer. Hey, I'm back. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to walk in on you. Why are you half naked in my living room? Yeah, I didn't miss the memo about us dating. And of course, I know you're not going to wear the dry stuff over your wet stuff, but damn, way to give me heart palpitations. Uh, yeah, I, I can tell you work out. Um, that's not the point. Do you try to fluster everyone you date like this? Actually, don't answer that. Um, can you um walk towards my voice and take your clothes from me? You'll catch your death. Um, no, I, I think I'll just stay like this until you're done. Whew. Done? Good. Um, now, um, <clears throat> you should, uh, come to the couch where it's warm. I've got a really warm blanket on here from before. What? No, nothing's wrong, nothing. <laughs> Definitely not sleeping tonight, though. You heard that? Uh, so it's true that blind people have exceptional hearing? Oh... Oh, I see. You just have a different focus instead because you don't have your sight and you use your other senses to be more aware of your surroundings. Huh. So you're trying to say that your focus is on me? Oh. Um, wow. I, I wasn't expecting you to be so forthcoming about that. Um, but uh, I won't say I don't appreciate the attention. Oh my gosh, you're shivering. I'm being so rude here. I'm going to lead you to the couch now. Comfy? Uh, did you want something to drink? I have beer, wine, sodas, hot chocolate. I, I even brought the real stuff so you can have it with real lactose-free milk. Oh, and I, I also picked up a tin of Earl Grey. Did, did you also want something to eat? I went to the store today and picked up a few things. I even got the little cookies you like. You know, the ones with the chocolate and the... Hi. No, it's not that I think you're delicate. Not at all. I just... I don't know how to process everything. You're here in my house in my space and 
It feels like you've always been here, like you like you belong here with me. And when you got changed, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't stand thinking about someone else seeing you like that other than me. And, and to top it off, you're in my favorite hoodie and sweats and it's overwhelming in a way I did not expect. So all these feelings are welling up in me and I don't even know if they're appropriate. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to be quiet now. Yes. It is complete insanity to find this cute. But uh, I appreciate you for taking this for what it is and not me turning into a uh, total yandere nightmare. <sighs> okay, back to my original question. Is there anything you need? <laughs> oh, honey, you don't have to weaponize your puppy dog eyes to get cuddles. You just need to ask. No, seriously. How do you get your eyes so big? It's like they inflate. Come here. <sighs> Work was fine. And they're looking for new project ideas, so everyone is scrambling to send their ideas to the supervisors. Yeah, total chaos in the office. I understand, though. It's a good opportunity to get a promotion. Well, of course I've got ideas, but everyone's putting their two cents in. How am I going to compete with that? Well, no, there wouldn't be any consequences if my presentation bombed. No, no, my ideas are completely my own, so there wouldn't be any accusation of stealing if I do well enough. You do have a point. It'll be so much work, though. I would have to start an outline like yesterday. Really? You'd help me? You don't mind? Oh, thank you. It's not doing the work that worries me. It's the presentation. So many potential nightmares. Ugh. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> we can do that later. But for now, snuggles. I need snuggles. I don't want to think about work. You smell so good. <laughs> you do not smell like a wet rag. You smell spicy, warm, like a fireplace. Oh, yeah? What do I smell like? Like honey, huh? And deep amber. Wow, that's poetic. Oh, you got me something? Where is it? Um, so what am I looking at? Ha ha, I know it's a book, brat. Why are you giving me a book in a language that I can't read? Page 138? Okay. Oh, there's writing in English. Read it out loud? Okay. I think of you every day, nostalgic over memories past. When I close my eyes and call your name, it's like you're right beside me. How you used to make me laugh. Do you remember? The love we could not consummate, so beautiful in its sadness. Do you see? The petals of longing embroidered in every stitch. The vivid spring breeze is my heart wandering, yearning for you because it cannot forget. I write poems in the sky with my tears. The summer rain and the blue skies are the tears I pour out because of the feelings I have for you. Do not be sad for me. See the color fade from the green leaf. So does my feelings for you. The dry leaves being the scarlet bruises of my heart. I send you my greetings on the strands of the wind. The crisp winter winds being my farewell to you. Why are you showing me this? What does it mean? It's a translation from one of your favorite poets. You did yourself before going blind. I'm so sorry. Um, so from this, I'm assuming you lost your sight not too long ago. 
seem pretty well adjusted, all things considered. <sighs> yeah, I was curious, but I noticed that when strangers asked you about your site, you looked so uncomfortable about it, so obviously I didn't want to go poking where it would hurt. Besides, it wasn't my story to ask about. I wanted you to feel safe with me and tell me when you were ready. I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. It wasn't my intention, but I get if you're upset or... You're giving me consent to ask. Wow, thank you. Yeah, it's so intrusive when people ask about very private matters five minutes after meeting, but please let me know if the questions make you feel weird or if they're offensive and I don't realize it. Oh, the excerpt that you used to wheedle a second date out of me was from this poem. Wow, I, I really don't know what to say. You feel safe with me? Thank you. I really appreciate that. Especially since I get the impression that you don't trust easily. Yeah, it would be hard to trust people after being ghosted when you lose your sight. I am so sorry that happened to you. Real friends shouldn't drop people when they're going through a hard time. Not to want things you can't do for yourself. Fuck, that makes me so sad. I'm so sorry you had to do that. But I hope I've changed that a little. I don't think you could ever take advantage, but I'll assert boundaries if I need to. Would that make you feel better? Good. Actually, um, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh yeah, that totally doesn't sound like you're up to something. Don't make that innocent face at me. I'm trying to be serious here. Gosh, you're cute. Okay, it's just... We've been seeing each other for a few weeks now, and I was wondering if you're seeing anybody else. If you are, that's totally cool. Oh, good. <sighs> Anyways, um, if you're not seeing anybody else, and I'm not seeing anybody else, um, what do you think about being exclusive? Yeah, we, um, actually didn't talk about it. So, um, can I call you mine? I, you, um, you've told your friends about me? And your parents. Um, okay, that's a conversation for another time. I'm not really ready for any of that yet, but, um, for now, could we just have a quiet night of cuddling? <laughs> of course. And kisses, too. Mm.